Hello, and welcome to the lovely Stranger Tarot. This is a pick a card. What will happen in July 2019? Um, if it's now for you uh, in a later time, like maybe later in this year or even 2020, you still can choose a pile um, because it might be that spirit sent you this video. Um, so it have it will have contained some advice for you um, that you can apply on your current situation. So give it a try. Um, today I have uh, also a song for you, um, this is a little treat, um, and you can choose um, out of four piles, um, whether you choose like from the pile or you choose from um, the crystals that I have for you. Um, this is pile number one, this is an onyx crystal, this is pile number two, this is an amethyst. Mm -hmm. Pile number three is similar but not the same. This is a fluorite little piece. And this little uh, fella here is a citrine. If you need more time, you can pause the video here. Um, and I will start now with pile number one. Welcome pile number one. I drew some oracle cards for you and also um, five tarot cards. And the cards we have are Dolphin, Opening to Love, Religious Factors, And peace. Pile number one, I am so sorry. As you can see, um, the lighting has changed, the setup has changed. Um, it's much, much later now. <laughs> and um, uh, I am starting the reading anew because I uh, got a phone call and I got distracted and um, I had to stop in the middle of the reading. This is not um, fun, but sometimes it happens, it's life, <laughs> so, um, yes, your song, your song was A Shadow of the Day by Linkin Park, um, and the, um, refrain goes, and the sun will set for you, the sun will set for you, and the shadow of the day will embrace the world in grey, and the sun will set for you. Uh, if you know this song, then you might know um, that uh, this is a song about a person who is about to die. Um, I don't know why, but um, this came to my mind when I was um, preparing for uh, this July reading. And um, I, I love this song. You know, um, I loved the band Linkin Park and I'm very sad. Um, that Chester Benning died and um, I don't know because this song is a very very sad song to me um, yeah this but of course I don't think uh, somebody in your uh, life will die or you will die no no no, no. this is not um, this is definitely not the case um, I mean if you know, I mean, we don't even have the death here. <laughs> this would be a very strong indicator. That something might happen like that, but it's not. So don't worry. Um, what when I look at your spread, then I have the feeling uh, that July will maybe it will feel like something is dying, but this can be a good thing. You know, um, sometimes. Uh, uh, things in you die that are not like not necessary for you anymore um, maybe it was something that was protecting you um, you know like stuff that are blockages to us now um, protected us in the past so um, you know so this is um, not a bad thing not at all 
but it might feel july i mean i know there are some eclipses retrogrades i think mercury retrograde and also neptune um will go retrograde and there are i think two eclipses um so this will be i think a month of restructure for you you know i don't think it will be like a heavy a very heavy month i mean we have the peace card so um i think it might feel a little bit like maybe waiting but in a peaceful way you know um uh, it's maybe like i mean you have the hanging man too so these two cards say to me i don't read i don't know if you already know my videos i don't read uh, the hanging man as being trapped or something like that um, if it's in the upright if it's um, in the reverse i do but um, if it's in the upright i read it as um, changing perspective yeah of course sometimes it's just um, a phase of waiting of reconsidering of um, yeah working on things um, but in turn you know like um, in your mind thinking about things um, reconsider who are my friends who are my who are people who are really nurturing me who are people that um, you know that are really good for me is this situation good for me something like that but you know i mean it will feel maybe a little bit slow i have the feeling the month for you will um, be a little bit slow maybe also a little bit sad but i think actually this is a really good month for you um you know we have the religious factors your love life will influ be in sorry your love life is influenced by your religious up bringing a spiritual path um, this can also be like you know if you are in a relationship this might be that um, that your I mean it doesn't have to be like religious factors it can also be spiritual factors so maybe you are reconsidering um, like where this relationship is heading you know um, maybe um, you had a loose relationship um, with somebody and now you feel like mm, you know maybe uh, I'm ready for a commitment or um, maybe you were single and now <laughs> I'm sorry I got distracted my cat is meowing in the background <laughs> very loudly um, uh, yeah maybe you are single and maybe you um, get to know somebody and maybe there's something totally different than you um, maybe they come from a different cultural background maybe they are, have a different religion than you and you are thinking about is this worth it is this working will this you know is this um, relationship maybe trouble <laughs> you know it's like take your time everything is um, I think everything is going to be all right and also I think um, this card ties in um, in my feeling because um, you have opening to love I think I have the feeling really that you were um, healing um, maybe from a relationship that you came out of relatively recently um, but now you are healing I think you I mean nothing um, is about that let me see I mean maybe you are still in the healing process but I think you are on the very end I'm sorry my cat is visiting me hey baby <laughs> I'm sorry um, Shh. I'm reading yes <laughs> I'm sorry guys um, yes I think you are in the very end of the healing phase because like I said maybe um, recently you met a person that might stir might have stirred your interest a little and um, now you are starting again to opening your heart 
um, to receive and give love again. I think this is, it feels very slow to me. Although we have the King of Swords, but I think this might be the person uh, that, I, yeah, that might be like um, that. I mean, we have we have the King of Wands and we have the Knight of Swords. I mean, the Knights um, are usually offers, and maybe uh, you met. A person. I mean, this is these are two males, but this also can be a female. Um, this is uh, fire. This is um, maybe um, Sagittarius, Aries, or uh, Leo, and um, maybe they have an offer for you that. Um, yeah, maybe they want to know you, get to know you. And this is a very swift moving night. This is actually the fastest moving night. So um, maybe there is somebody that, you know tries to push you but you should take your time I have the feeling I mean you are, you are in peace you are slowly considering with the hanged man if this is really worth it and I think you're coming out of a relationship maybe because um, you have the eight of uh, eight of cups in reverse and um, if this is in reverse this um, sometimes can mean that um, uh, that uh, split that you split up with somebody and um, you still healing you know like it's not totally I mean this in the upright this card means you're saying goodbye to things that don't serve you anymore if this is in reverse this can be um, that you're not totally um, said goodbye to the situation or to the person you know um, your heart still feels a little bit um, tight to the old person or the old situation maybe and um, yeah the seven of pentacles in reverse also um, tells me that um, you know if this is in the upright this means that you did the hard work and now you're waiting for the fruits to come you know um, but if it's in reverse this is also uh, maybe you already did the hard work um, but the fruits are not coming yet. You know, this is a delay. Um, of This can be a delay of time. And I have the feeling this is the case right now. But still, I think you are healing. And I think um, what Spirit wants you to know and to be, you should be happy. You know, um, I don't know in... Um, how this ties in with your life maybe um, you don't feel like you can you know maybe you don't feel worthy to be happy um, maybe right now you just don't feel happy or right now or maybe you think you should be happy and this is the right thing to do you know you should be happy you deserve to be happy so um, yeah you I think I really have the feeling you're on the best way you know you're on the best way you're taking your time um, you um, consider everything you know from every dis um, aspect you know from every angle you consider everything what's important for you and I think you are really on a good way I mean this month like I said might feel a little bit slow but I think you are about to heal and I think that is really really beautiful Paiwan yeah, I thank you a lot for watching. Um, I upload a video every Sunday and I hope to see you next week again. I wish you a very nice July. Bye for now. Hi, pile number two. When you picked the beautiful amethyst, then this is the reading for you. Pile number one, I pulled some oracle cards as well as some tarot cards and your cards are breathe heart to heart conversations launching your journey go with the flow and for the tarot cards, we have the devil, 
the tower. The Ten of Swords. Death in reverse. And Justice in reverse. Wow, pile number one. <laughs> Your July will be a very intense month. Yes, I mean, probably, um, I mean, uh, July will be, um, there will be two retrogrades, I believe. Um, Neptune and um, Mercury are going retrograde this month. Um, as well as we have two eclipses. So eclipse season is starting and I think you like it will affect you a lot Like oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot you have a song. I forgot You have traffic light by the Ting Tings um, The refrain is going oh now baby. I'm sorry. Oh now baby. I didn't pronounce that correctly oh now baby don't misread the signs if you just turn the key then things will turn out fine so this is you know this is a confirmation everything will be fine <laughs> in the end everything will be fine I promise you because like yeah your July will be very intense you know you have you have one two three four four major arcana cards you have the devil the tower death in reverse and justice in reverse um yeah the devil is telling about um addictions and the tower is telling about yeah, actually crushing the addictions you know i mean don't don't get spooked out by the tower i mean sometimes it's like tower again you know I'm Pisces of course I do um, I watch readings on YouTube too of course like some uh, very good um, tarot readers are here you know um, I really enjoy a lot of them and of course I watch my readings too like my monthlies or I, I do pick cards too so um, and of course, like when you have, I mean, the Pisces, maybe you're Pisces and maybe you read, like you watched some readings and like tower moments, tower moments, tower moments. I don't know, like for the last two years or so, but you know what? Um, it happened a lot in my life too. So yeah, I had a lot of tower moments, so I can relate to that. Um, but this, it might, it's also a good thing. You know, sometimes the tower is a really good thing, but because, you know, yes. It can hurt the tower can hurt but sometimes being stuck in, in some really um, unhealthy behaviors or in really unhealthy situations like toxic um, relationships you know people that are not you know that are, they are not good sometimes and you know the tower can just be like it can be the last impulse you know like it might feel like the world is falling down but it's not it's always for your highest good so um, yeah I mean don't get spooked out and I know this will be feeling very tough you know but this is because the devil is like these are toxic relationships toxic environments toxic people and I think in July you can like really free yourself from that with the tower and um, we also have the ten of swords um, this is ending a cycle also the the ten of swords is this is I think my least favorite card in the tarot um, because I mean it's it's minor you know I mean the cycle ends and but the pain it's still it still stings and it still hurts and so I can totally relate to that um, you will end a toxic cycle a negative cycle I mean at least now sometimes cycles start good and um, they end up toxic or not really good for you but you can end that and you will in July um, the only thing is it might feel that um, it might feel yeah painful 
and maybe it will feel like there's not much moving right now. I mean, this might be because of the retrogrades we have. It might feel that um, in retrogrades that something is not moving, you know. Um, you know, the death card is usually transformation, but in the reverse, I mean, it, it is a major arcana, and also the justice card. It, these are major arcana, so they will happen. They will, in the end, there will be transformation, and there also, transformation, <laughs> and there also will be justice. So don't worry, it will come in the end. But right now, it feels like nothing is moving, everything is going the same way, you know, um, maybe you are still, maybe you think like, why I did my work, I uh, cut toxic people off, why am I feeling still bad, you know, why am I not feeling like better, but it will come. And I believe this might be the retro rates that are affecting you, um, because it might feel stag stagnant, you know, I mean, retrogrades are not really, um, like, I mean, the, the planets are not really moving backwards, you know, it just looks like they move backwards. So this is the same, it looks like nothing changes, and it looks like justice will not be served, but in the end it will. And I think um, when, I think it's Mercury, when Mercury will go direct, then um, you will have the fruits of the work you have done. And uh, what this month will be totally important for you, just breathe, like maybe do your meditation, maybe do relaxation, um, uh, you know, like listen to soothing music, listen to, I mean, you can also like, you can dance, like do something that makes you happy, that makes you feel good, and um, release um, some tension, you know, R release clutching too much uh, to some certain situations, maybe um, just thinking about why am I not feeling better, you know, this can be like um, a cycle in your head that uh, might worsen things, you know, but um, yeah, just go with the flow, breathe, it will, I promise you, it will be, um, it will change, it just right now doesn't feel like it, but it will because, I mean, you did the first step to launch in your journey, so um, yeah, you come out of this old cycle now, and now you are launching a new journey, a brand new sparkling journey. I mean, you know, look at what we all have, you know, I mean, we have the desert, we have castles, we have the mountains, you, you know, I think the world will stand open to you. Um, I mean, this is, these are major changes that are coming to you in July, and it can be scary, but um, everything will be fine, and you, I think you, after that, after the retrograde, you will see, like, things come to fruition, you will, uh, you will feel better, you will maybe look better, you, you can see, you can see opportunities that opening like magic, you know, and um, yeah, this is beautiful, and the heart-to-heart -heart conversations uh, from the Romans Angels deck, this is right now maybe, you know, also, when you have a love interest that maybe it feels a little bit stagnant, <coughs> I'm sorry, um, it maybe feels a little bit stagnant, um, but um, yeah, I mean, this is also, you know, take your time, breathe, have, yeah, have conversations with your love interest or with your partner, I mean, um, right now is not the time to force something, you know, just... Um, talk it out um, if maybe um, you're having problems with your partner or maybe um, you are um, breaking up you know maybe yeah try to get your closure and um, yeah just take it easy don't be too harsh on yourself this is not the time right now just try to relax because the transformation is coming. It might hurt a little, but in the end, 
everything will be beautiful. So, thank you pile number two. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. I appreciate also a like and a subscribe, of course, if you like my readings. Um, I upload a video every Sunday and maybe I will see you next week. Have a good and beautiful July. Thank you very much. Bye. Hi, pile number three. If you picked the fluorite, the beautiful fluorite, then this is the pile for you. Yeah, I, um, you are the ones with the most cards. Um, uh, for the tarot, I usually picked five, but six fell out, and also um, two, um, like one. Um, excess card fell out of the tarot so you're the lucky one <laughs> that have a lot of cards uh, you have higher power for the romans angels keep an open mind dwelling in truth Embarking on an adventure. Peacock, raise your standards. And for the tarot, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Cups in reverse. The Three of Cups in reverse. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> Temperance, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a little bit of a dry, ooh, dry mouth, so I, I better get a little drink. All right I'm sorry for that <laughs> so you have also um, a song your song is lose my breath destiny's child and the refrain goes can you keep up baby boy make me lose my breath hit me hard make me lose my breath can you keep up baby boy make me lose my breath bring the noise Make me lose my breath, hit me hard, make me lose my breath. Yes, I think you might be having a little bit of a trouble in your relationships recently or maybe for a longer period of time. Um, it might be that you were involved with some th somebody Sorry, it's with somebody that was deceitful. We have here, um, yeah, you know, three of uh, cups and the page of cups actually would be a beautiful combination together, but they are in reverse. So um, it might be that somebody betrayed you and like your partner maybe betrayed you or were deceitful um trying maybe I mean, maybe in the reverse i don't read um the three of cups like in the upright i don't read that as a three-party situation i knew a lot of tarot readers do i don't do that but if it's in the reverse you know this is nothing to celebrate so um yeah, it might be that your partner betrayed you rather least recently or um, it has like maybe it was a, a little bit um, like maybe it can be like six months before or a year before. But um, I have the feeling that uh, something happened kind of. Um, I mean, also the, the uh, you know, <laughs> 
the song it ties in beautifully <laughs> like i'm really i do this with the songs the first time and i'm really impressed how this ties together you know um yeah we have the knight of swords maybe this was an information um you know that something was happening behind your back maybe like maybe um, a friend of yours saw your partner you know um yeah rolling around with somebody else um yeah not 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 a good thing but yeah i think this might be not the recent past because i think right now you are reconsidering right now i mean you have the temperance in the upright this is about balance balancing you know like um putting like the two cups like refilling both of you know um to to keep them equal i think you're rebalancing right now and i think right now you're already in a good state because we have the queen of uh, pentacles here so i think right now um you are balance, balancing yourself right now you are rejuvenated i mean you're gathering strength i have the feeling you are gathering strength um so um that you can yeah you know that you can bark can embark on a new adventure i have the feeling this is the preparation phase i believe um yeah to start something new i mean we have the ace of swords so it's not like not quite there i mean we, this is actually a theme you know like pile one and pile two they all um seemed to be like almost there like the cycle had ended almost but not yet and i believe that um ties in with the uh, retrograde in july um and also the eclipses i mean we have two eclipses and two retrogrades so this is um a very intense month and uh i feel like I think you are like a powerhouse <laughs> and I think you just gather your strength to go out and rock the world I mean may it might be the the world of the um, other uh, other gender like um, the, the you know maybe the same gender um, you know I, I think you're just preparing gathering strength a little um, you know um, to to get out into the world and to rock everybody's world you know i mean we have the peacock here so um, it says raise your standards this is also tying in um that maybe um the yeah the relationships you had weren't very good or i mean it might be just one but um this is like yeah you were dealing with a person that was not worth your while so um i mean peacocks these are you know the most beautiful uh, birds like colorful bright shining bright and i mean i have the feeling this is you you know i mean you are so beautiful so uh, such a bright and beautiful person and um you are not um you're not deserving like people that deceive you or that betray you you know i mean they also have the higher power so i think you are a very radiant um beautiful person that maybe i mean maybe you were in a relationship that dimmed your light maybe um yeah maybe you had a toxic partner and um you were healing from that um you know gathering strength uh rebalancing yourself and i think you really did a beautiful job so i mean you right now you are just standing in your truth um it's almost a little bit like the hanging man um that is like you know meditating about where do i want to be who am i want to be uh who, who am i want to be no who do i want to be <laughs> um and um yeah just gathering strength just just center yourself 
because of course when you in your highest self then you can attract the person that is really worth your time and really worth you you know and this also you know maybe your partner was toxic and the um, Romans Angels Oracle says keep an open mind maybe it's about like um, Maybe you have to change your type a little, you know, maybe you were um, attracted to bad boys before or people that are, um, you know, that are smooth talkers and um, they talk a lot, but they don't keep their promises, something like that. And maybe you should go for uh, more grounded people, you know, um, when you are in your highest self, then your taste will change automatically but it might be that it's yeah a little bit unsettling first you know it's like um when you <laughs> this is um an example when you quit smoking i was smoking for 20 years and um, i quit smoking and um it wouldn't be the situations um when i was missing a cigarette when um when you would think like oh yeah this is the 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 thing like when i was drinking with my friends or something like you know in a bar like drinking a beer or two and i would uh, miss it but you know when i was waiting for the bus i would miss it so it's, it was like um in the situations that are really familiar with you then um yeah, you feel safe even though they are not good for you so but you will change your perception but at first it might feel a little bit weird and a little bit unsettling so if somebody approaches you and you you know inside like oh you have the feeling oh i think this might be a really good person but it might feel also a little bit weird because these wouldn't be actually the type that you were going for in the past don't worry just you know go on an adventure see it as an adventure and um you will do it you know i i i don't have any doubt i think you did the healing i did you i, I think you did the rebalancing and um you are powerhouse and you deserve a guy that can keep up with you you know that will make you lose your breath and you don't have not from running after them but from you know running together um and you know yeah you deserve love and you deserve you deserve only the best you know and um i think you will find it and you're a beautiful person and don't let anybody dim your light Okay, pile three. I have the feeling this was short, but I have nothing more to say. <laughs> I thank you so much for watching. Uh, I upload a video every Sunday and I would be so happy if you would join me next week. Um, thank you very much and see you next week. Bye. Hi, pile four. When you picked the citrine then this is the pile for you. I drew some oracle cards and also some tarot cards for you. And uh, well, there fell out like um, the Romans Angels cards were good for you and also um, the Mystical Wisdom cards. Um, both of them too fell out. So you have a lot of cards. <coughs> you have the message in a bottle. children finances and career emerging into grace good fortune and celebration for the tarot, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Can you see that? This is shiny. So, <laughs> uh, the Princess of Wands. The Two Wands. Two of Wands. 
for the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So I think, my sweethearts, I think you are the winners of um, the uh, this reading. Oh, you have a song. I forgot. <laughs> you have No More Suckers by Marina. The refrain goes, no more suckers in my life. All the dramas gets them. All the drama gets them high. I'm just trying to draw the line. No more suckers in my life. They just keep bleeding me dry till there's nothing left inside. I think the time of suckers is over. <laughs> I mean, um, it seems like you had people in your life that were sucking a little bit of your time, of your money, especially. This I can see because, like, I mean, you have a lot of money in July. Like, money is pouring in, you know, it's raining, it's raining coins, <laughs> you know. I mean, we have so much, like, I mean, we have the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have Good Fortune, and we also have the Finances and Career card. Yeah, this is so really good. <clears throat> Maybe this month you will have uh, a message. This can be, I mean, I, I get some like things for probably uh, um, um, more people than one. Um, it can be um, that you just like, just plain, you got, yeah, you, you, you change jobs. You, um, you know, you get the message, you got the job when you're job hunting or that uh, it can be a promotion you know like um, thanks for the good work here's your uh, <clears throat> here's your you know like um, gratification or something like that um, this can be like a plain uh, plain simple message for you it can also be that I mean with the no more suckers song from Marina that it's like you know, you just got the message of spirit. Just like cut the suckers out. You know, I mean, it might it might be a little bit harsh, but I think maybe it could even be. I mean, when you're when you're having maybe grown children, it could be your children that are like behaving nasty. You know, um, coming back for money, like mom or dad, can you, you know, I, I need to pay this, I need to pay that, you know, that um, that this was sucking you dry a little bit, you know, like, you know, maybe you're too good of a person and you're giving and over giving and um, this was sucking you dry a little bit. <clears throat> but now I have the feeling like this, is such a good month for you. I mean, we have celebration. Let go and have fun. This is a beautiful month for you, especially for finances. You, um, yeah, you know, like, I think you are cutting some people out that are not really good for you, you know. I mean, we have the... Um, the two of wands this is um yeah this is a decision two um two in the tarot are also always like decision making and i think you decide to cut some people out that are not good for you or um, at least um set boundaries to these people and when you do this then you um will emerge into grace you know then um your mind will be peaceful, your life will be more peaceful, and then the money pours in, my gosh, and maybe even love. I mean, you know, we have all the money cards, and then, um, yeah, I think you're just rising your vibration in July, like a lot, you know. I mean, we have finances um, and career, um, 
finance financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so i mean maybe when you solve the money problem then it will come an offer of love I mean, oh, hopefully, of course not, like, oh, I have money now, so um, the chicks come in. <laughs> I mean, if you like that, then why not, of course. But, um, yeah, I have the feeling, like, maybe there were also a lot of fighting, I mean, maybe with your partner, um, about money, maybe, um, yeah, maybe it was with your partner and he or she said, like, don't give the kids too much money. And you were like, yeah, but, you know, um, yeah, but they need me. I, you know, they need the money. But, yeah, I think in July this will be over. This will be um, done. And, you know, stability and good fortune will come. I mean, also, pentacles are not necessarily money they are you know like stability abundance in every shape or form you know and something will happen to celebrate you know celebration is coming i believe yeah this will be a shower of coins you know a message will come maybe um also you know gratitude um no, gratification, I'm sorry, a gratification of uh, some sort, or, I mean, could also be, I mean, yeah, it could be an inheritance, you know, maybe when you're the child, um, that some um, relative, like, will give you something after they die, and this will solve a lot of your financial problems <clears throat> maybe maybe somebody you don't know that much maybe like an aunt or something that you don't even know like it might be really a surprise that you have money pouring in you know yeah but i mean you're the winner i mean um yeah the citrine is also it's, you know, it's talking about money and joy, you know, receiving. And you will receive in July. Yeah, congratulations, Pile 4. You're the winner of July. So, I this is all I have to say for you. I thank you so much for watching. I upload uh, a video every Sunday. And I would be honored if you would join me um, on my channel and subscribe. Um, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you next week. Have a beautiful July. Bye. Mm -hmm.